Welcome to another awesome Tinkercad training session. I need you to get in, click create a new design, and once you are in, I just want to remind you, keep an eye on the all changes saved. If it ever gets locked in saving mode, you're going to have to press F5 and back up to where it had your final save. I'd love to have you hit design, and I'd love to have you rename this by hitting properties and love to have you put shape generators and your name or initials after it. When you're done, I would like to have you explore some Tinkercad shapes. The first one is extrusion. At first look you're like, oh it's a cylinder, but check this out. If you grab the handles over here on this profile picture, it automatically updates your shape to match it. If you grab the little handles, they are bezier curves that allow you to stretch and adjust your shape. So right now I'd just like you to simply play and make something that you think is cool by tweaking that shape. I'm going to make myself a little dinosaur foot real quick. Or something close to a dinosaur foot. When you're happy of course you can pick your color. You can still shrink, move, adjust all those things that you do with your normal shapes and then I'd like you to slide down and find the community files pick any one of these that you want notice there are many pages of community files I'm gonna go to page two and I wanna try curved words I'm gonna change my words to say go whoa and I'll put a space between them And if you look closely, there is my Go Woe. This is where you can change your height and stuff to make your words thicker. I'm going to make the point size larger. That's how big each letter is. So now the Go Woe is getting more like I like. Notice I'm being patient on the saving. That is super important when you're messing with these cool things. I'm going to use the arrow keys to move mine back in. I'm going to shrink my arc radius, shrink the arc, grow the radius, and just play with the different ways I can change it. And that's more like I was looking for in the first place. Then I can shrink it so it fits. I'm going to use the arrow keys again to nudge it around, but I want you to explore any two of these. And then share the results with your friends. All right, at this point, I want us to share our results. Everybody's got to pick something different, so make sure you're going through all 24 pages. I am going to take this one called 3DZ Dependent, and when you drop it on, it gives you the full name. You're going to copy that and put it on a special spreadsheet. To get to that spreadsheet, I want you to type bit.ly slash tinkshape. When you press enter, it'll take you to a custom Tinkercad tool shape generator. You need to fill in the boxes for your name. You can start with guide, so this one's going to be Mr. H. You'll put in your real first name. You're going to copy the whole name of what it is. So I'm going to go back to the design, and this is where I copied all of this. I don't want the word parameters, but I want the rest. And then you need to explore what it does. You have to describe what it does, so I decided that mine makes a W-shaped trough. And I'm going to fill that in here. It could maybe be a moat around a castle. So you need to come up with something like that. And then you need to look at tricks to make it work. Mine simply had numbers that I can adjust that were pretty simple. One thing I would mention is that if you click on the numbers, you can type a new number form and it changes your shape. Just make sure you're patient that it uh, has time to draw. So you can see here that I wrote, you can type on the numbers to make it grow. At this point, you need to find yours and make sure you describe any of these pages of 24 different items that you can explore. So I need every single one of you to make sure you come up with something totally new. If you end up having to do more than one, I don't mind. I just want to make sure that we have many, many cool custom shapes that we have explored. And then we can all look at the cool things we've added to the sheet. 
Make sure you do not mess with anybody else's rows. Just pick the next empty row. And let's see how awesome our exploration skills can make us. And let's see just how incredible our exploration skills can be.